Hello, and welcome to take one billion of me practicing my YouTube intros. My name is Solar, and today we're going to be playing this channel's very first scary game. What we have in front of us is ad infinitum, which means in English over and over again repeatedly in the same way forever. Just from the game title alone, the game looked pretty dang interesting, but enough about me, enough about the title of the game. Let's get cozy and try not to get too scared. New game, this time in English, with English subs. You have done it once, now you need to do it again. that mean for months you've cursed your hours spent staring at these tables now you wish you could stay with them forever where am I going your diary never let it out of sight is it a diary or is it a sketchbook because right now this is a sketchbook now I'm trolling I'll probably be doing some uh some writing in it. Oh. A map. They want you to storm the French trenches. You pray you're wrong, but it feels like a death sentence. You know, you're probably right. I spoke to him, but I don't know if he understood what I was saying. Fortunately, I can't understand what you're saying either. If you radio for help instead of fighting, you'll be arrested for desertion. Looks like someone's been repairing something here. It's a shame you don't understand all that technical stuff. You wanted to send a postcard home. You wanted... <laughs> So, why can't it just keep the text there until I look away? You wanted to send a postcard home, but you couldn't find the right... Alright, we're done. Tom! The Lord didn't send enough over the top. The whole company. Come on! Get ready! I guess. First platoon awaiting orders, sir. The front. Second platoon awaiting orders, sir. Third platoon awaiting orders, sir.
Brian and go to war. Left arm amputation, and we are covered in barbed wire. <laughs> and just like that, we're off to chapter one. I don't know if I can handle it. This game is too much. JK. All right. Somebody's son, that makes sense. But I'm gonna assume I'm back home from battle. One strike, one spark. That's all. Alright, that's good. Do I have an inventory? I do. Find out who's with you in your house. So hopefully my mom is in my house. Right? Dear Paul. Here is a copy of the Morse code alphabet I made for you. You probably know it from school. It's a language all its own, which I now speak fluently. Thankfully, my telegraph shelter is in a safe location, something that's already saved my life twice. I'll be on leave again soon. Will I see you this time, or will it just be mother again? Please, take good care of her. That just use a, a match. All right. Ten soldier, men hang on his every command. This one specifically. So it is ten soldier or the ten commander. Those look like ten soldiers. It might be the ten commander. The mirror is broken. You can't see reflection. Just a shadow. Then why do I still have? Hello. Hello? Are you knocking for me? Give your brother his dagger back! I'm sorry, Paul. I... Now get out, you dirty little thief! You're no son of mine. Alright. Give your brother your dagger back. See, I don't... That doesn't really make sense. Alright. We get it. You want it. Photo of military company, my military company? Assuming that I'm the commander they were talking about in the prologue. Hmm. Trench whistle. A sound you know only too well. Okay. And these aren't the best windows. Okay. And I don't know why I have, you know, this dresser, dude. So where else are we gonna put this dresser? Damn, all right, so someone else is tromping along in my house, in the crib. Enough about this room, but this dresser doesn't make sense. It's too big to fit on this wall. There's a door here, and it doesn't fit anywhere else in the room. Unless you were to move this. All right. Fit to OCD. brother's room is locked, but you're sure you saw something. It can't be him, can it? What did I see? Heavy cog. Fantastic. An elevator up to the attic. It must be new. I wonder what's up there. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume the knocking was coming from downstairs. Golly, 
dude. This is my house. It is very dusty. Well, thank you for pulling my camera angle over there. I would have never noticed. Hello. I love the crosses and the, um, you know, what is he, salt? Sense and charms meant to keep evil at bay. So why does looking at them make you feel nauseous? What's up there in the attic? Thinking about it makes your stomach turn. All right. Carl has become as cruel as his father. I can speak neither of the war nor of my lost sons. I am not even permitted in their rooms. The rooms of my own sons. I am not permitted to exist at all. If only I were dead too. Wait, what? So if I'm a son, I'm dead. Right? That makes sense. Oh, fantastic. Mother, when you were young, she would spend every day in the winter garden until grandfather came to live with you. That is... My papa guy, bring China heart and I up. I'd love to help you, but I am too busy looking around. A march written in honor of our great general, Luthor von Schmidt. Dearest mother, when I hear the cannons thunder, I can no longer be angry with father. Instead, I worry for all of you. Have you heard from Paul at all? He hasn't replied to a single one of my letters. Your Highness. glad that you have at least survived the cold weather, but I know how scarce food has become at home. It would be best if we just surrendered, but I'm sure father doesn't want to hear such talk. He probably thinks that the war will bring him glory and honor. Just like grandfather, glory and honor perished in the very first winter of this war. <sighs> how we wanted to go to war. How foolish we were. Nevertheless, I shall write to father. I am worried about Paul. Oh, it's in the uh, incense, right? I'll take that. What a nice guy. A quick save. Mother would often lock herself in the music room for hours on end. But not today. You won't allow it. Am I the son or am I the husband? In my darkest hours, it is only music that saves me. Is there a heart in the world that cannot be softened by it? But when Carl plays that terrible orchestrion and his father's music again, I feel sick. The walls crumble, and everything comes crashing down around me. It makes me want to die. But I know where he keeps the key. All right, Mom. That is good to know. When finding documents that are relevant to completing a puzzle, they are automatically put into my inventory. Two sets of matches. So we are going to rebuild what Mother hated and play the song that Mother hated. That doesn't seem very healthy.
right, yeah, we went to the orchestra first. Hey, stop pushing! It's not my fault you're such a slowpoke. And it's not my fault you can't do a boost up right. I've told you to, no climbing in through the window. But you didn't open the door. I knocked for ages, and no one answered. Oh, boys. Come on in, then. But keep the noise down. Your grandfather's sleeping. Okay. With the deepest regret, we hereby report that the sons of our director general, grandsons of the great general Lothar von Schmidt, Paul von Schmidt, born 5th of March, 1899, and Johannes von Schmidt, born 3rd of October, 1893, have met their heroic deaths on the Western Front. May they rest in peace. Oh. So many doors. This one. Wow. Alright. It's good to know. Leads into this room. Sprint, 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 sprint. Throw a door open. All right, it just takes a lot of mouse space to open up a door. Ah, matches. Thank you. Terrifying. All right, these paper contains the list of casualties. You don't want to read them. You're right. I don't. Candles. What? I can take them. picture of you and your brother. Gaze is drawn to the obituary along it. You fought, and they just gave up on you. So, you and your brother. Unless it's the other way around. Which one is it? Thank you. Dude, someone needs to... <laughs> that just confused me. <laughs> now you're wet too. Stop splashing. Mama, he got water on me and now I'm all wet. Come and sit on the bank with me. There you go. Now put your feet in the water. Nice and warm, isn't it? Warm and wet. <laughs> Look at the sail. No shot. Oh, okay, good. They're so fast. I bet they're going to America. From Vanze, the lakes aren't that big. Well, who knows? Maybe they'll find a way. They could sail down the harbor, then the Elba, and all the way to Hamburg, the gateway to the world. From there, anything's possible. I didn't want to interact and ruin some of the story for y'all. That falling had confused the crap out of me. That's probably why it fell. It wasn't attached to anything. Problem solved. In order to treat your wife's pronounced hysteria slash melancholy, she must be spared any kinds of emotional strain. She must avoid any objects or persons that might trigger an episode. I recommend one injection every two days until her symptoms start to improve. Daily injections are recommended during more severe melan melancholic phases. What are we, uh, sticking mom with? Huh? Nope, not any, uh, drugs. Well, when father saw the painting of himself for the first time, he said nothing, not a word. Anything, uh, on the painting? I mean, if that's what he looked like, I wouldn't say a word either. So we haven't figured out a use for the candles. Now we'll figure that out later. Cog, music roll, and salt. What can we use? Locked. Oh, you started making noise now. Nice. Key to 
your grandfather's musical contraption. Don't mind if I do. May 25th, 1916. Magdalena refuses to accept that both our sons have now taken up service in the name of the Kaiser and the people. This is madness. I never wanted to believe father, but perhaps he was right. Perhaps she cannot be helped. Ever since father came to stay with us nine years ago, she has changed completely. I have administered Quicksilver. After a brief protest, she finally quietened down. Quicksilver? Ten milliliters? Hmm. Not only... I have no clue what Quicksilver is, but that is a lot of it. 10 milliliters is a lot. Most medications would be like 0 0.5, 0 0.5 mLs. So we're just opening doors now. Alright. Oh yeah, musical contraption. My bad. It's not going to be key to here. Mother, let me shut the door. Mother, oh, <gasps> you are not mother. I see that she was um, burning some incense. This time I felt him. I'll be with you in it a second. Was as if my Johannes was standing next to me, placing his hand on my shoulder. Herr Dupre was right. With each session we are drawing closer, I can feel it. There has been a spate of strange coincidences. It is a sign. I have been working on the dummy again. I am trying to fill it with life so that you have. Oh. All right. Mom's trying to perform necromancy on a dummy. While Carl was away, Herr Dupre and I made use of the time to take a tour of the house. He didn't want to see the cuckoo. He believes me. When we entered the salon, he said he felt an icy chill right where the old tyrant died. He brought nothing but misfortune upon us, even when he was still alive. Herr Dupre says that the house attracts many angry souls. He says I should use charms, spirit bells, and knocking three times for the Trinity to try and ward them off until our next session. The angels will aid me in this. I want to believe him, but the awful cuckoo knocks too, and calls out, and wants to eat constantly. It is driving me out of my mind. Hmm. So mom's friends with the cuckoo, or she is cuckoo? I'm gonna go for is cuckoo, and she's got her feet are cuckoo. To help bring alive her um, doll friend. Just like mom used to play. I'll be with you in a second. Our family tree is taking root. A gift from Santa Balbina among Carl's father's exotic plants. A piece of my home. Okay. You hardly dare to look at the picture. It reminds you of things you would rather forget. Oh, that looks like me covered in barbed wire. You might uh, have slight recollection of an event like that. A dummy 
It almost seems to be watching you. I mean, not really. Unless I sat down at the table and. Alright! I'm coming to answer the phone. I understand now. wasn't a phone wait come back I can't see you thanks for the delivery a letter from the spiritualist due to your unpaid bills and your husband's threats of physical violence against my person I regret to inform you that I will not be able to guide you through your spiritual session in person today however knowing desperately you need the aid of the angelic powers in these dark times, I am enclosing a wax cylinder with my instructions and the invocation of the N N G L O N N G L O. In addition to these, please find enclosed silver candlestick holders, the concentrated pendulum which reacts sensitively to spiritual vibrations, particularly those of evil nature, should still be in your possession from my last visit. I have taken the liberty of adding the cost for these items to your last outstanding payment. With you in spirit. In Dupre. What a good guy. I can barely see it, but thanks for the wax uh, cylinder. This is my ball, and don't you forget it! I just wanted okay. to play with it. Get your own! But mine isn't red. You stubborn little so-and-so. All right, then. But make sure you bring it back. Promise? I promise. You really told her, you stubborn little so-and-so. What color is her ball? What is it, blue? Blue's the better color anyways. I don't know why I feel so intrigued to uh, shut the door. I'm assuming this is where... Uh, okay. Look at the spiritualist sensitive to vibrations. Does it want me to form on this table? No? Oh no, it's over for me. I am officially lost. A phonograph with no wax cylinder. There indeed is now. A Frau von Schmidt. Please follow my words to the letter in order to ensure the success of your spiritual session in my absence. Pause the playback of my voice on the wax cylinder after each step until you have correctly completed the step in question. Okay. Begin by placing the five silver candlestick holders I sent you on the table. Naturally. Okay. I'm glad that I can mentally pause the phonograph. Do you have the candles and the matches? Very good. Place the candles in the candlestick holders. Wait, how did he know I had the candles? <laughs> Alright. Do you have the salt for the next step? Good. The consecrated pendulum will now show you the order to mark out the lines of the witch's foot between the candles. Use the pendulum, then mark out the lines with the salt. Once you have done this, we can proceed further. Right. So, um, this doesn't look like, you know, it could use for anything good. Plus, the pendulum is officially swaying quite redonkulously. And... I wasn't paying attention to uh, bro on the mic at all. All right. Salt. Oh. Oh no. You don't know what order to draw the lines. And for the pentagram, how old you? Wait. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's actually kind of funny. Hmm. Salty pentagram. All right.
What's next, brother? Once the site is complete, you can light the candles. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Alright, what do I do now, Mr. Phonograph? Very good. Now, find the personal item that belonged to the deceased. You could try the red ball. We have had some success with it in the past. Do you have the ball that belonged to your son? Good. Now take your seat at the table. Um... How did he know Where that I had the ball on me? This is as careful as it gets. Ooh. We call tonight upon the Angoloi. Know that the occultist Dupree, whose voice speaks to you now and who has studied the chronicles of Akasha, is aware of your presence. Yes, I hear you. That's. Oh, Angoloi and spirits of the will. The servants of the Lord. Sure. Your mother is sitting at the table in your home. Go to her. Do you understand? Wait. Go to her, Go to her and give her a sign. Oh, it's happening. Oh, close your eyes. Make space for the soul. So, letter was meant for mom, bro could somehow see through a phonograph, or we're listening to past memories and that's why I'm stuck in the house. I don't really know. And the dummy's gone. I'm coming! Just wait, dearie. Or, um, yeah, I'm coming, whoever I am. Or I'm just, uh private investigator. Oh, it's actually a phone this time. go insane. Is this upstairs? Oh, that would make sense. 
But how is the scratches from the wheelchair? Oh no, this is the dummy. Dummies can bleed? You learn something new every day? with every day that passes please mother of mercy help me i can't bear another injection his father his society is poison he says i am mad he says the cuckoo is my son but i know what i know they've taken everything from me my children my language even my name he threw my Bible on the fire and smashed your statues. But they can never take you away from me, Mother of Mercy. Mother of Sorrows. Hmm. So, she's pretty insane. And... The demon and whatnot is taking control of her. Taking her name. Took her son. leave a message I'll make sure uh, to call you back later mother of sorrow sorry you in the bathroom mother I'll make sure to shut the door Nice and quiet. <sighs> that was good. And it scared me. Even though I was expecting it. All right. Thank you for watching today's episode of Ad Infinitum. We're going to continue this in another video, perhaps tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.